The global arms trade is a high-stakes game of chess, where every move can alter the balance of power across continents. Nations strategize and maneuver, much like grandmasters, to gain the upper hand in this intricate and often perilous game. The stakes are incredibly high, involving not just military dominance, but also economic influence and political leverage. And now, the board has a new king. This shift is not just a simple change of players, but a monumental transformation that could redefine alliances and rivalries for years to come. China has overtaken Russia as the top weapons supplier to Africa, marking a significant shift in the balance of military power. This change is not merely about numbers. It signifies a deeper, more strategic realignment. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. China's rise in this arena is a testament to its growing influence and ambition on the global stage. This development has profound implications for both the African continent and the wider geopolitical landscape. African nations, long reliant on Russian military support, are now looking eastward, forging new partnerships and alliances. This shift could lead to a reconfiguration of power dynamics, not just in Africa, but globally. For decades, Russia held sway as Africa's primary arms provider. This relationship was built on a foundation of mutual benefit and strategic necessity. Russian weapons were a staple in many African militaries, symbolizing a bond that was as much about ideology as it was about armaments. This legacy stemmed from the Cold War era, when the Soviet Union forged strong ties with newly independent African nations. These alliances were crucial in the global struggle for influence with Africa serving as a key battleground in the ideological war between East and West. However, the tides have turned, and China's economic and military might is now reshaping the African landscape. China's approach is multifaceted, combining military aid with significant economic investments and infrastructure projects. This comprehensive strategy is winning over African leaders, who see in China a partner that can offer more than just weapons. They see a nation that can help build their economies, improve their infrastructure, and provide a counterbalance to Western influence. As China continues to expand its footprint in Africa, the world watches closely. Aware that this new king on the chessboard could change the game entirely, Russia's grip on the African arms market has been slipping for several years. Once a dominant player, Russia has seen its influence wane as other global powers have stepped in to fill the void. The decline in Russian arms exports to Africa is not just a recent phenomenon, but a trend that has been developing over the past decade. This shift has significant implications for both Russia and the African nations that have historically relied on Russian military hardware. This decline is partly due to internal factors, such as Russia's own economic struggles and its focus on modernizing its own military. The Russian economy has faced numerous challenges, from fluctuating oil prices to systemic corruption, which have hampered its ability to maintain its previous levels of arms production and export. Additionally, Russia has prioritized upgrading its own military capabilities, diverting resources that might have otherwise been used for international arms sales. This internal focus has left a gap in the market that other countries have been quick to exploit. The ongoing war in Ukraine has further strained Russia's resources, limiting its capacity to engage in arms sales abroad. The conflict has not only drained financial and material resources, but has also led to a significant loss of military equipment. The war effort requires constant replenishment of arms and supplies, which has taken precedence over international sales. Moreover, the geopolitical fallout from the war has isolated Russia on the global stage, making it more difficult to find willing buyers for its military products. Furthermore, Western sanctions imposed on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine have made it increasingly difficult for Moscow to conduct business as usual. These sanctions have targeted key sectors of the Russian economy, 
including finance, energy, and defense. The restrictions have cut off access to crucial technologies and financial markets, crippling Russia's ability to produce and export weapons. The sanctions have also deterred potential buyers who fear secondary sanctions or political backlash from engaging with Russia. These sanctions have targeted key sectors of the Russian economy, including its defense industry, hindering its ability to produce and export weapons. Factories that once bustled with activity are now facing shortages of materials and components, leading to delays and reduced output. The economic impact has been profound, affecting not just the defense sector, but the broader economy as well. As Russia grapples with these challenges, its position in the global arms market continues to erode, opening opportunities for other nations to step in and establish their own influence in Africa and beyond. China's rise as an arms exporter is no accident. It is the result of a deliberate and long-term strategy to expand its influence across the globe. China has been steadily increasing its defense spending for decades, investing heavily in research and development to produce increasingly sophisticated weaponry. At the same time, China has been actively courting African nations, offering attractive financing packages and technology transfers that are difficult to refuse. This approach stands in stark contrast to Russia's often transactional approach to arms sales. One of the key reasons behind China's success in the African arms market is its ability to offer high-quality weapons at competitive prices. China's manufacturing prowess allows it to produce weapons at a lower cost than many Western countries, making them an attractive option for cash-strapped African governments. Moreover, China is often willing to be more flexible on payment terms, offering loans and barter agreements that make its weapons more accessible to developing nations. This pragmatic approach has allowed China to gain a foothold in markets traditionally dominated by Russia and other established arms exporters. However, China's success in Africa is not solely based on price. Chinese weapons are becoming increasingly sophisticated, rivaling those produced by Russia and other major arms exporters. China has made significant strides in areas such as drone technology, missile systems, and armored vehicles. Furthermore, China's growing diplomatic and economic influence in Africa has given it a significant advantage over its competitors. China is now a major investor in infrastructure projects across the continent, and its Belt and Road Initiative is strengthening trade ties between China and African nations. The rise of China as a global arms supplier has raised concerns about a new Cold War, with the United States and its allies vying for influence against a rising China. This geopolitical tension is not just about military might, but also about economic dominance and strategic positioning. The United States, which has long been a dominant force in global arms sales, now faces a formidable competitor in China. This competition extends beyond mere weaponry. It encompasses influence over entire regions, particularly Africa. Some analysts argue that China's arms sales to Africa are part of a broader strategy to secure access to resources and establish military bases on the continent. They point to the increasing presence of Chinese military advisors and the proliferation of Chinese-made weapons among African soldiers as evidence of this strategy. The extraction of natural resources such as oil, minerals and rare earth elements is seen as a critical component of China's long-term plan to sustain its economic growth and technological advancement. Others, however, contend that China's engagement in Africa is primarily driven by economic interests and that its arms sales are simply a reflection of its growing economic clout. They argue that China's investments in infrastructure, factories and markets across Africa are aimed at creating new economic opportunities and fostering development. These investments are seen as mutually beneficial, providing much needed capital and technology to African nations while opening new markets for Chinese goods and services. The reality is likely more nuanced with both economic and strategic factors at play. China's approach to Africa is multifaceted, involving a blend of diplomacy, economic investment and military cooperation. Diplomatic meetings between Chinese and African leaders often result in agreements that encompass a wide range of issues, from trade and investment to security and defence. As China continues to expand its influence in Africa, 
the United States and its allies must navigate this complex landscape, balancing their own strategic interests with the need for cooperation and stability in the region. What do you think about China's rise as a major arms supplier to Africa? Do you believe it is a cause for concern, or is it simply a reflection of shifting global power dynamics? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The global arms trade is a complex and constantly evolving landscape. What other topics related to international relations and geopolitics would you be interested in reading about? Let us know your suggestions and we'll explore them in future videos. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.